Whoa, whoa. Calm down a little. Hello, and welcome back to No More Heroes. One for the Wii. Alright, let's go see what's out in Santa Destroy today. Let's see what's happened. Naomi's Lab. Thunder Ryu. Area 51. New part-time job. Alright, so a bunch of shit unlocked. So, we can go get a new- we could probably get a new Beam Katana. We can go see our Master Thunder Ryu. Which will get stronger. And longer. And down to get the friction on her. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and see Naomi. Oh, and we can also probably go get, uh... We can also get some new clothes. So that Travis can actually put a shirt on for once. Wait, garbage can. <laughs> Whenever Travis sees a garbage can, this is his immediate response. Yeah, who threw away 2,000 bucks in the garbage? Seriously! Like, shirts I can understand, because Travis is a filthy hobo. Filthy anime-loving hobo. But still, like, throw away fucking 2,000 bucks? See, that I don't get. I don't get that. Oh, I just went around the circle. Alright. <laughs> like, maybe it was a collective $2,000, like, over a year. Well, okay. Apparently, whenever you break and then quickly press the A button, it does, yeah, it does that, it does a speed boost. But we're here already. Get out of my way, other person. So, like I keep saying, this is not going to be a 100% run. I will try getting a bunch of stuff off screen, like the lobby cob balls, the t-shirts, what did I get? Yes. Oh, speak of the devil, there's a lobby cob ball. I can get it right now, though. Let's go ahead and get it. What's the shirt say? Well, fuck. I can't read your shirt, Travis. It's some kind of German shirt. I don't know. Anyway, let's go see one of my favorite characters, Dr. Naomi. She's a... She's a really nice lady, who apparently falls under the anime laws of really old ladies somehow preserve their... I say really old ladies. Older ladies preserve their youth forever, because... Yeah. She got really, really sexualized, like... Okay, so we can't afford the newest katana. Oh, apparently we can, because I can't do math. Oh well. Oh no, they're playing Heavenly Star, which is my favorite song. I love Heavenly Star. It's so good. It's so catchy. Which is a song that apparently just got removed, like, outright, I think, a lot in uh, No More Heroes 2. Probably for, I don't know, copyright reasons or some other such, some other such business. I, why can't I, okay. I'm uncertain of this. But, besides that... Alright, oh, and there's these little... I think that's for... Oh, this is probably a treasure tracker. So let's go ahead and head to Thunder Ryu's office so we can meet up with our master. So he can make us stronger for the next fight. Because, as you might have noticed in the last video, I was doing piddly damage. And also getting my ass kicked. And also making shitty commentary. But I don't think Thunder Ryu can help me with that. You must make better commentary. Quick, put your ass out like this. Yes, like that. I joke about that, but that's actually what's what's gonna happen. And I passed up the turn. Good thing I can just drive on the sidewalk. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to K Entertainment after so I can go ahead go ahead and get more uh, more money for T shirts and lightsabers. Oh no, not lightsabers, beam katanas. Right. But let's see what our what Thunder Ryu building has to teach us. Oh, yeah, that. poor tiger. You want to do that? Come over here. Take your clothes off. But I, I had my clothes off. Get naked now. Stick your butt out. Out. Hold still. Let's you have a strong stance. Never taken a. Uh, um, 
So, the, they actually have a term for this. Okay, first let me do these dumbbells and I'll try mentioning what the f hell... Okay. What exactly Thunder Ryu did. So apparently I've read why Thunder Ryu does these weird sex trainings with Travis in order to make him better, a better fighter and stronger and more in tune with his force. And apparently it's a Japanese tradition called pedestry, I believe. I, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Which is a common practice... Okay, my, my combo has been extended. Which is a which was a common practice, like, a way long time ago, between a master and apprentice. Where it wasn't uncommon for the mas for the apprentice to do sexual things with his master. I'm... It was... It, it was a different time. It was kind of like the ancient Greeks of old. You know the ones. And I'm just gonna hammer the A button. Honestly, this training is a lot easier than No More Heroes 2. Which was, uh, 8-bit or 16-bit. It's probably 16-bit. I'm not 8-bit. Whew. Which had you punching weights. Which was more pattern recognition, but it was also really, really hard. And it was very... Ugh, excuse me, I don't know. Okay. Which was very difficult. Whereas this is just either randomly, like, smashing on the A button or doing motion control stuff. Which I'm okay with. This game actually is a good example of... Hey, boy. Hey, guys. How you doing? I love that poster. It gives me strength. Especially that kiss mark. She's an empowered woman. Alright, good. We, we're stronger and we're healthier and we're... Training is not over. Training is not over. I need to do more sexual butt stuff with you. Secret butt fun. Alright. Cool. So now Travis is stronger and he's more prepared to fight Number eight. That'll be fun. Uh, let's see. So we did Thunder Reuse stuff. Now we need, we're gonna go to Area 51 just for a quick second. Oh, there's a Lobby Cobb Ball. Can I pick it up on my motors? Oh, well. The Spell Tiger does not want to go. But that's fine. New t-shirt. Oh, it's one of those robot shirts from the, from the pure white bizarre Glastonbury show that Travis likes so much. Pure bizarre white jelly thing. Whatever. It's that anime Travis like the T-shirt that he had in the beginning of the game. That's one of the robots, which is actually a really cool T-shirt. And this gentleman right here is actually based on an actual individual named Mask the Uh. Uh. Don't judge a book by its cover, brother. I love how he just makes his uh. Makes his introduction. Come on in, Braza. I love that. So, like I said, most of this stuff is going to be off screen. Okay, there's Skeletal Tiger. Ooh, there's Nature. Hmm. I can't afford either of them. Oh no. Oh well. That's fine. Gorgon, Eat, Radioactive, Lucha Libre. Eh. Um. Kangaroo jeans. Goshawk. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... Right now, I can't really afford anything, and I'd rather not waste too much money before... Yeah, right. At least on screen. Before I fight, uh... Number 8. So, I'll do that off screen. I'll grind some cash and buy some more clothes and stuff off screen. And whenever anybody wants to say... If anybody has any suggestions for outfits or... A particular something they want to see like a side job or anything like that please by all means let me know if not I'll just go ahead and and just uh, pick out outfits on my own and I'll probably just stick with one jacket and one particular outfit at the time because it's not really that big a deal uh, all right so let me go ahead and see if there's a new K entertainment mission I'm pretty sure there is Oh, but we need to do more side jobs. We need to do more side jobs in order to unlock more K Entertainment missions. I know I said I'd do this, like, 
off screen, but you know. This would be the last time you see uh, a side mission and a K Entertainment mission on screen. After this, it'll be completely done off, off camera filming, off camera grinding and stuff for your for your convenience. Unless anybody has a like has a reason they want to see one of these videos, then by all means. Let's go see what our coconut third class god person has to say. We got more jobs. Okay. Lawn mowing. This one is actually pretty fun. And it actually has... It's actually pretty entertaining considering how Travis mows the lawn. He just has a certain flair to it. That only an otaku, I guess, would have. So, Travis lives in a shitty apartment and kind of, like, won his beam katana, lightsaber, whatever the fuck, off of a, off of eBay or whatever. I, how exactly does he afford the Spell Tiger? Like, that has to be worth more than... Like, I guess it's that's kind of why he doesn't live in a house as opposed to... A fucking apartment. Anyways, time for a lawn mowing time. Maze like manner with a huge. That's a huge. Okay. God of hand of handiwork. Hard work. God of lawns. All right. Time to kill the god of lawns by mowing the lawn. I like this guy's pantheon better than the than uh, most other Greek pantheons. Oh, I just... Oh, well, whatever. The most other... Deity pantheons. Yeah! <laughs> the way Travis turns is... Is astounding. Yeah! <laughs> so I think we get about 300 bucks per acre. Travis just has to be styling and profiling whenever he, uh, whenever he has to mow the lawn. And I just keep going in circles. Hang on. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, this is about as entertaining as mowing the lawn gets, folks. Travis doing that flamboyant hand wiggle. Oh, alright. Eh. Eh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose to the god of lawns. Okay, there we go. For a second, I just thought I had to use the nunchuck, but then again, I didn't read the instructions because, you know, I hate whenever certain, when like, let's players do that and they're, and then they wonder why this a certain thing does. Not calling anybody out. It's just, and then I just go ahead and do it. Yeah. The instructions are there for a reason, kids. You gotta listen to them. That way you know how to play the video game. Because if you don't, then you do shit that might piss off your viewers. Like you find people. I don't want to piss off anybody by not knowing what I'm doing. Thankfully, this is just mowing the lawn. Yeah. Which I'm not really doing a good job at. This lawn is severely out of hand. Like, why would they stop me after 10 seconds, though, is my question. Like, if you stop me whenever I'm still mowing the lawn, you're gonna get a half-assed job done. I'm just saying, uh, good job, finishing time. And Travis can't, okay. So, what I get? 79 acres? Okay, that's a pretty decent chunk of change. Ah, silver. Silver. All right. So in order to get the shadier jobs, you gotta go do, you gotta do part-time jobs like this, and then you can get the really good, sh the good jobs. All right. Now I can go murder people. The K Entertainment. So this is a well-known organization. So kill using only wrestling moves. Go on a bat batting killing spree. Yeah, I think we saw how well I did with that. Let's go with... Per kill. 
Let's go with the wrestling moves. Time for wrestling. Let's wrestle. You mess with Diamond, you gonna get cut. I don't know why I suddenly reference Code Monkeys. I miss that show. It was gone before it's time. Yeah, then again, there wasn't really much left for it. Whatever. So Travis just has to go suplex some bitches in order to get some money. If you got paid money to go suplex somebody, you'd do it. Two thousand buck or three thousand dollars, <throat> just to just to suplex somebody, or put them in the Cobra Clutch, or the walls of Jericho, or a GTS, or a Stone Cold Stunner, or the Rock Bottom, or the Sweet Chin Music. Let's see. Do I know any other wrestling moves? Um. Hurricane Rana? Yeah, that's a that's a move. I haven't kept up on my wrestling. I need to get back on watching wrestling. Anyway. Time to go wrestle some baseball players. And I got me in oh, is this the new one? It looks very similar to the old one. Alright. Let's do this, you shits. Yeah! Suck it. Who else wants some? You do! Who throws a baseball as a weapon? Assholes like you. Ew! Suplex, bitch! Yeah! Break the walls down! German suplex! He's over here! Let's all get in the wrestling line! Get up, nerd! You love it! You gotta charge up your- Oh, here's a new one! Yeah! That guy ain't going home to his kids. That made it more depressing than it needed to be. Boom! Hooligan Paradise! This game has a huge fixation on the word paradise. Shadow wrestling. Yeah! Which one of you nerds wants to dance? Alright. That's another one down. Stop hitting me with your baseballs, you dicks. Yeah. I. Cause these dick. Fuck. I like to imagine Travis learned wrestling just to defend his anime animes. Like he watched some really shameful animes and people judge him for it. So then he has to wrestle them. No, no, wait. Somebody stole his animes and challenged him to, like, a friggin', uh... To a friggin' ladder match in order to get it back. That's probably what happened. It's like with Eddie Guerrero's kid. Oh. Ladder match for the animes. Alright. Do I not have enough mu- no, wait. I think I'm, well, no, I don't think I have enough money to purchase the, ugh. All right. So, I don't have enough cash in order to still buy my entrance into number eight. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. And whenever, uh, whenever I can, whenever I had the money, then I'll cut back to then. Okay, good. Break. Everybody break. Alright. See you then. Alright, welcome back. Okay, it's confession time. Uh, this is actually a New Game Plus save. The reason why I'm using this is because... You know, I, in the last uh, recording, 
I had all the uh, I had all the things I wanted to get. I had my new beam katana. I got training from Thunder Ryu. Um, I did. I went through all the other. Uh, I went through all the uh, op- new places that opened up, and then I went off to. Gr- then I ground up some cash in order to pay off for uh, rank eight stage. But and then I went through the rank eight stage, and everything was going fine until I fought the boss because this boss is especially difficult. And we'll soon. Brother? Yeah. The next fight has been set. Wait a sec. Why the hell are you telling me this over the phone? Why? Because I cannot decide what to wear. And Sylvia is picking out clothes while we're going to murder somebody. Anyway, the point of this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I fought the boss. Uh, the boss was quite difficult. Killed me more than a few times because either a I'm really rusty and I haven't played this game in like forever. Or in B, B, I just was really unlucky because the boss has an instant kill attack that pretty much gets me almost every time. So, what's going to happen here is I'm going to go through the stage with this upgraded Travis. And then, whenever I fight the boss, I'm going to switch back to my old data just before, like, switch back to my old data where I don't have all this upgrade and more health and stuff and more strength. Because I want to be, make this somewhat, somewhat a uh, clean run. Anyway, it's it, it's pretty embarrassing. I apologize for this. <clears throat> it's not going to happen again because I don't. Somehow, I just lost all the footage of me getting to the stage, of me going through the stage. But it's it's fine. It's fine. I'll still show off the stage since this is a new game plus uh, data. It's probably not going to show off. Oh, excuse me. It's probably not going to show off the cards that I find that are for the first run. It'll probably it might show off some new game plus cards or it might just have cash, but all the treasure chests should be in the exact same area. So if you go there, you should find the cards. Anyway, I really sorry about this. It will not happen again. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and go over to the high school, which is where rank 8 is. So, at, like, since the first episode of this long, long, drawn-out hiatus of a show, you know, the new Smash Bros. came out. And in the first episode, I was kind of like saying, oh, Wonder Red or Travis Touchdown would have been awesome characters. And obviously they weren't in the base game. But since there is, since somebody put on, uh, said that there was a, uh, there's a character poll, which I knew about, but... Yeah. Shinobu's not easy, by the way, if that wasn't apparent, if I didn't make that apparently clear. Anyway, they mentioned in the, uh... Someone mentioned in the Klonoa movie, in the Klonoa cutscene movie, uh, comment section... See, I'm doing a lot more damage. Mentioned that there was a, uh, character poll for Smash Bros. And I already voted for, uh... And I already voted for Wonder Red, because it's Wonder Red, he's awesome. He's from Platinum Game, he's just an overall likable character. He'd probably fight really, really unique. But I wouldn't mind seeing Travis getting in there. Be the, well, yeah, I think he might be the first, no, not the first, because Snake was, Snake was from Metal Gear Solid, and he was an M-rated character, but might be the first M-rated Nintendo character. No, well, oh, cool, I already got the Grasshopper, that's cool. Already, this is going much smoother than the uh, other one. See, it goes through the stage really quick. So I'll be able to get through this, and then I'll fight Shinobu. And then I'll fight with my shitty Travis, and probably get my ass kicked again. But hopefully, I'll cut all that out. But yeah, seeing like this, this would be a pretty decent final smash. It Pretty much, Travis would just devastate anybody. With He has a variety of dark side moves that could work for, uh, work for a final smash. Or he could just turn into a tiger like he does in No More Heroes 2. That's cool. That's not really a spoiler, that's just a thing he does. Never explained, but it's still cool. Are you prepared? Yeah, I'm... Travis might make a decent addition to Smash Bros. I mean, I know he has a sword, but I think Chip and I... Chip and, uh... Chip and Voidburger and Snark Cookie might have mentioned that whenever they were doing their, uh... 
when they were, when Chip was doing his stream for Metal Gear Solid 1, you know, Travis would be an interesting character because he has wrestling moves. He doesn't fight like all the other sword characters. And, yeah, I kind of agree with them that there are more than a few Fire Emblem characters. I love Fire Emblem. I think it's a great series. I think it's great. I've played pretty much all the North American games. I've even played uh, Radiant Dawn, which is supposedly one of the hardest ones in the series. And that, this is the first time I caught on fire. I didn't do that on my initial run. But thankfully, I have a lot of extra health. And there's fire extinguishers all over the school. Because, because of reasons like this. But yeah, I feel like there might be one too many Fire Emblem characters. And I think, while I love Krom, I would like to see, I might like to see Krom in the game, even though he'd probably play similar to Marth. Although he doesn't have to. I'm not defending Krom being in there. There, again, there's a few too many Fire Emblem characters. But, if I could say, like, one or two things about that series and the possible inclusion of more characters, which they're not gonna do. They're never gonna do that. He doesn't have to fight like a clone, because Krom is one of the only Lord characters who can, you know, cla who can actually use, uh, who can class change into other class besides Lord. He can use a, a bow, a lance, you know, he's not just limited to a sword, so that could have changed it up. Personally, I would have put Hector from the original GBA Fire Emblem game, because the dude just fights with a fucking axe. Love Hector. Anyway. So yeah, I'm I'm cur I'm kind of curious of uh, who my of who uh, who will get voted into sh into uh, Smash Bros. Shovel Knight would have been awesome. Obviously, I've got some love for Shovel Knight. Damn, I just catch on fire. I've been catching on fire a lot so far. That's embarrassing. Uh, let's see, Shovel Knight would have been co would be really cool. Travis would be cool. Wonder Red, obviously. Um, Bayo would be an interesting character to play. Oh, and then there's this asshole. I'm surprised this hasn't happened sooner, considering everybody's carrying a fucking torch. So wait. The alarm system is, okay, there's a fire. Lock all the students in. And then Travis looks against the t like he has to dump ass since he's just being coarse with electricity. Ah, oh, but it's fine. He handled an exploding bullet. I'm sure Travis is somehow superhuman. I'm trying to think of some more Nintendo characters who could be added in. An SMT character would have been cool, like Flynn, the main character from uh, SMT4. He'd be cool. One of the protagonists from the Devil Survivor games. They just summon demons. Or... Well, yeah, they'd probably summon demons, because if you just use Flynn by himself, he'd probably just use a... <laughs> Nice one, Travis. Just you, just go all Fonzie on it. He'd probably use a sword, but yeah, no, just... Uh, well, then it'd probably be like Pokemon Trainer. I don't know, maybe not use an SMT character. Although they would be cool. I, I'd like it. Um, let's see. Really, it's, it's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of really cool potential. Oh. Speaking of which... I mentioned that I was not going to do the RPG that I'm planning on doing alongside No More Heroes because I don't want No More Heroes getting any more further behind of schedule than it already is. But I am going to do a really, really short game. A very short game alongside it. But I'm going to get more than a few episodes into No More Heroes before I start working, uh, working on this game. This sh and, again, it's going to be kind of like No More Heroes, kind of. Oh, cool, I got another uh, Grasshopper. That's always cool to have. It's going to be kind of like No More Heroes. It's going to be kind of uh, Devil May Cry, God of War-esque. It's going to be a pretty fun game. I, I enjoyed it. It's a, recent it's a game I recently beat, and I feel like, yeah, that can make for a pretty good video. It's... I'd make for a good series. It's short enough to where it's not going to take up too much too much time, where I could still focus on No More Heroes and uh, the RPG. And overall, I just kind of like it, you know. <laughs> Obviously. It's an old uh, PS2 game. I say old. Oh, just look at him. <laughs> I 
So is this just... Okay, the one dude with the freaking mesh shirt. I'm not really sure why people would wear mesh shirts now in this day and age. They just look kind of weird. I don't know. I did not turn on the uh, sub... I don't know if there are subtitles. I might have checked that out in the first video, but I haven't double-checked. I will do so after this fight, because I want to make sure all the dialogue is being picked up. But first, blueberry cheese brownie. See, you had me until you said cheese. I like brownies and I like blueberries, but cheese, eh, I don't know. I like my desserts to be sweet. I don't really like them to have that weird cheesy taste. Already, this is going by, okay. And again, I, I might have mentioned this before, but how the hell can, like, I guess students afford bean katanas? I'm assuming Travis has some kind of I don't know how Travis gets his income. I mean, besides murdering people. Oh. Yeah! Alright. But how does people... How did any, anybody in Santa Destroy manage to get a hold of, like... Let's see. Config. Are there any subtitles? Yes, there are. Wiimote speaker. Settings. Let's turn that off. Just gotta make sure, because I don't want... Hold on one minute. Okay, the volume is down. Alright. Just want to make sure that whenever Sylvia calls, we want to get her... We want to have a really crisp and clear communication with her. Alright. So we got our subtitles. We're doing pretty good. I think there was supposed to be a treasure chest back here. Maybe the treasure chest just disappear. I'm sorry. Again, for more competent playthrough... Oh, somebody's calling. See, that actually went by a lot faster than it originally went. Yeah. Your next ranked fight begins the moment you step into that room. Win, and you'll rise to ace in rank. Lose, and an even deeper circle of hell awaits. Wipe away your tears, hit the can, Pick the daughter of your teeth. When you're ready, step inside. I highly doubt you'll survive this time. <laughs> I wouldn't falter for thinking you that, though. Find out, right? Give it your best. Oh, boy. I am 100% certain you're returning from this battle, Travis. In a yep. But trust your force and head for the Garden of Man. Yeah. Yeah, Sylvia doesn't have that much faith in us, and quite frankly, neither do I. Okay, so this is right before the boss, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just go to my data, and I'm gonna load my data, and then I'm gonna go right here. Oh my god, I had the New Game Plus mode on Sweet. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I showed this stage, so it's cool. All right. Oh, look! And if you shit somewhere else besides the motel, you get a different little No More Heroes thing. All right. Yeah. So we are back to the original save file. Now Travis is slightly worse. Oh, and it's time for Master Smith to give us some more lessons on wrestling. What you got, Mask? Travis, now you're getting back into the groove, amigo. I have a terrible Mexican accent. Remember the 18th suplex of your master. The trust building exercise gone wrong. Captured. Mask the Smith. Thanks, Mask. All right, let's get us some pizza. Yeah. That's barely enough pizza. And now let's go fight Miss Jacobs. Bubbles, or I don't know what that is. Or it's beads. A rankings fight? Yeah, how about it? I don't know how you see with one eye. Will you give me a minute? <laughs> Her afro is just so puffy. Wait for me in the hallway. Right. You're gonna get your ass kicked, Travis. I know. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not really sure why she just... Okay. Somebody has issues at school. Mind if we do this somewhere else? You're the boss. Oh, Shinobu. You're so cool, but you're also so crazy. You killed them? Such a gentleman. Are you asking out of tactical curiosity? Or are you just fucking... But with a terrible little potty mouth. They didn't offer much resistance. You got a problem with that? They're students, Travis. You got no idea how hard it is to hide your true self around here. Yeah, sometimes you just want to murder everybody. Why? What? I'm curious. Mm. I just turned my back, but you didn't strike. You are fucking with Travis is just old school. It's actually pretty hard. He's got that whole samurai honor shit. Enemy is as bloodthirsty as yourself. People like us think alike. Don't we? Shall we? Alrighty. Time to play the game. Huh? You will pay with your life. At last I have my chance. Alrighty, here we go. Avenge my father. Something tells me you watch too many Like Afro Samurai. I didn't kill Sam Jackson. And that is the reason of why I lost the last time. What the hell was that? Yeah, Shinobu has quite a few moves. One of which is Sonic Sword, and she can and whenever she gets low on health, she starts spamming the thing like in three bursts. And it really sucks. Okay, so I'm probably going to die maybe a few times. So you just got to look for openings in her defenses and then strike her like this. Okay. Gotta play defensive with Shinobu. You gotta wait for her to just do a really big wind-up. Avoid the Sonic Sword. And just... Okay, Shadow Stepping occasionally just doesn't want to work against bosses. Just get a few decent combos. Don't get greedy. There we go. Just... Don't get greedy, though. Don't get greedy. There we go. And the pizza that is here is hardly substantial pizza. It doesn't heal you all the way. It only heals you a little bit. Okay. So we're doing good so far. We're losing. We lost a little bit of health, but it's not that bad. Not that bad. Just gotta get it. Damn it! I missed the wrestling. All right. I'm gonna go behind this wall. Hopefully she doesn't follow. Charge my sword. Okay, and we're ready. Where'd she go? There she is. Just gotta watch her movements. And she does that little somersault front flip thing. You can get in there and hit her a few times. And she... Okay. So I'm gonna... Alright, now I'm gonna go get some pizza. Can I get some pizza? Oh boy. Alright. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. We got her down by a little bit of health. That's not a big deal. And she's... Okay. I'm not really doing much good commentary, but... Shinobu is kind of the first boss that... That is significantly difficult. You wouldn't think that she, that she would be. You wouldn't think that she would be as strong as, like... I don't know. That a high school student would be as strong as, say, Death Metal. Who is like this... Big freaking Australian murder man. And that, yeah, the Sonic Swords take off a lot of your health. And sometimes, when she gets down to a certain level of health, like really low, she'll fucking hit you with three of those things. And it sucks. Because it'll just mur murder you dead. But the real kicker is her instant kill attack, which is like this. It's this really, like. Long hitting, almost surefire way to kill you. you just gotta. I, I would say dodge roll. Okay, just gotta be. Again, I'm gonna go run around, charge my sword so she can't hit me. Okay, here we go. Keep your sword charged, you don't wanna be caught with your dick in your hand. Okay. Don't get greedy, don't get greedy. That's the key word here. That's the key phrase here. Don't get greedy when fighting Shinobu. Again, you will die a few times if you're not careful. 
because I died multiple times, and then I got pissed, and I hadn't had dinner last time, and I'm kind of just Johnsing. All right. Got her down to half. Fuck! I dodge rolled the wrong way. If this was Dark Souls, I'd be dead by now. Or Bloodborne. See, action games like this kind of always have that one... Certain games like this always have that one boss who kind of breaks you in to say, Yeah, now you're in the real shit. Shinobu will fuck you up. And that's not to say that the other bosses aren't hard. Like in... Like a later boss, an, a later female boss, especially, is kind... Yeah, never mind, I'll just... I'll get onto that whenever I, talk, whenever I get to that one boss. I need, I need to focus. As long as you're just you getting a few quick strikes, and if you can get a wrestling move in, good. But don't get greedy. Right now, she hasn't done that instant kill move, but I, I, know, I can just feel in the... Fuck! Okay, that wasn't it, but it looked like it. Because the instant kill attack is where she just streaks across the... Where she, like, fucking moonwalks across the whole damn room, and then just hits you. It's like one, like, long slash. It's kind of like Mark's, uh, Final Smash in Smash Bros. If you're familiar with what that looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. And so far, she hasn't used the... the better variant of the Sonic Sword, where she shoots out, like, a fucking billion of them. I'm not fucking with you. You're fucking with me. You're the one who's teasing. Okay. Ah! What you gonna do, Miss Jacobs? Come get some. I'm ready. I got a robot on my t-shirt. Okay. I might be in Smash Bros. one day. Yeah. Okay. This is the true- th see, that's the move. That's the move that will mess you up. That one instant, like, barrage of sonic swords. Oh, dude, it's cool looking. Don't get me wrong, Shinobu is beyond cool. I love Shinobu, she's awesome. But she is a fucking nightmare. Especially when she does... Especially when you can't hit her and when she just fucking murders you. Okay, she still hasn't done the move yet. But she's gonna... I can feel it. Just I can feel her just fucking winding it back. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised that Travis just, just doesn't instantly murder people. Like, like Shinobu or fucking anybody who has meaty flesh or who is not especially skilled. Because Travis's beam katana is basically a light lightsaber that can kind of just, you know, cut through fucking... Okay, that's the move. That's the move! <laughs> okay, that was the move. That was the move. That's the move you don't want to get hit by. That is the move. So stay away from her. Aha! You can't hit me if I'm behind a wall. I think I found a way to cheese this. No, I didn't. Ooh. Oh boy, I am getting nervous. I'm playing like a bitch right now. I'm honestly being a huge baby when it comes to fighting Shinobu. But you kind of have to be, because she's... <laughs> Stop it, Miss Jacobs, you win! Stop trying to... Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. I win these. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm this close to beating her. And I know it's taking a long while, and I know this might be a little boring, but you can fast forward through the video. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I almost had her. I almost have her. I'm so close. But I don't want to lose at the same time. 
So forgive my. I think I got her. Nope. No, I don't. Oh, she has no health. Just one more hit ought to do it. Just don't get cocky. Great job. Yeah, I got her. Fuck you, Shinobu. I love you. And she just gets back up like it's nothing. Because of course she does. Because she's Shinobu and she's awesome. See, that should be kind of a thing that happens all the time. Just cut off all... You waiting for? You're kind of done. Finish you. Don't look at me like that. Don't... Baka. I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. I never fought your father. Liar! You... You killed him! Sliced him in two! You sick... Whoa, whoa. Get in there, Travis. Oh! Jacobs was my mentor. I'd never kill him. But I would suplex his daughter. Oh, <laughs> nice flip there, Travis. I watched Master Jacobs' teachings on video over and over till the fucking tape wore. Nice. We've never met in person. Kill me. I admit it. I lost. Just do it. How about kill yourself after you kill me? <laughs> Sounds like a bit straight out of a samurai movie, don't it? Shut up! Shut up and kill me already! You've already dishonored me enough. I took your arm. Do you it. take your life, little girl. Please. If I kill you, then you'll never- then Senpai will never notice you. Until then, I'll be waiting. I'm gonna go watch some anime and wrestling movies. Wrestling tapes. Take easy. Okay, so how'd I do? Oh, clear time A, damage B, wow. And I got a couple sevens. So yay, I got me some cash. Some cash money. Oh yeah. Dooby 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 doo doo. Dooby doo doo. So we can just walk around and just see how Shinobu's doing. How you doing, Shinobu? Look at me. I beat you. I took your arm. Yeah, I'll see you in the sequel. <laughs> oh, Travis is an asshole. Shoo! And I got some more muns. And more vitality! Hooray! All the I wish money would just magically fly into me, too. Remember, kids, when you're on a first date with a lady, be sure to suplex her. That way she'll know you care. Another victory, Travis. You are now right. Thank you. It's like the eight ball. Probably not. She's still young, but I still have to follow the association's rules of conduct. Then let her live. Are we suddenly in love? Hell no. Hell. Oh. Then why take the risk of her coming back for revenge? In this place, because it turns me on, baby. Kill when you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. She'll grow up. Why not kill her when she's stronger? Yeah. Then I'll. Kill yeah. Her. Okay. You are sick. So are you. They have a very twisted relationship, Travis and Sylvia. She likes it though. She likes it. Yay! So now we're ranked eighth. But Shinobu is still alive, so maybe she might come back and kill- in the sequel. She'll be back in the sequel. So yay, Shinobu's still alive. So now it's time to go fight number seven. See, that's my favorite number, you guys. I like seven. So Travis immediately has to take a shit after he's won the day. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put that over this one. Yeah. Hopefully the recording won't get fucked up like it did before. Oh boy. This is Diane. What did Travis rent this time? Calling to let me know that one of the videos we turned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy. A hey, the there's the pillow. Was, um, how to please a woman in bed 101 part two. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. Congratulations. He's trying to work on his form. Your registration for the eighth U 
UAA rank is now complete. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your... Thanks, account. Raiden. Please transfer the money into the designated account. Have a nice day. Aww. I love you, Quentin Flynn. You're so cool. How much do we owe this time? 250,000 LBs. Damn. On an otaku salary? Yeah, you wish. So let's see. What cards did I get so far? They're all wrestling cards. A few of these cards are actually uh, trophies for in uh, the PS3 port. I mean, the later... Well, at least the initial ones that you get will be... Uh, will be wrestling cards. I like this one a lot. The, fir the first one. The Mask of the Legendary Wrestler. El Extremo. <laughs> that is a good-ass name. Now, I know in the background, Travis has a few uh, old Nintendo console... Nintendo things. And I think in the... Uh, I think in the PS3 port, he has a Sega Mega Drive or a Genesis or something like that. Gold Town, Beefhead, new part-time job. All right. So before we go ahead and uh, cut this and move on to the next rank, which we'll do in the next video, let's go ahead and see what we've unlocked. Gold Town is where the Lavikov balls will come into play. I will show that off whenever I have some Lavikov balls to speak of. But first. Let's go see our good buddy Bishop, who will be re reappearing in the sequel at good old Beefhead Videos. I like that cow, or the bull. Travis, you couldn't have come over at a better time, huh? You're not gonna believe your eyes. Travis, how's biz? By the way, the thing you wanted hasn't come in yet. So what will it be today? I'm <laughs> sequel bait, buddy. So. At Beefhead Videos, you can buy wrestling tapes to learn more wrestling moves. The Mask de Panther, the Tiger's Roar. <laughs> so you buy this, and then you're able to go back home and watch the wrestling tape, and then bam, you're on your way to learn some more moves. But on the right side, you see the no, you see the freaking uh, Star Wars, Star Wars poster, and it looks like. I'm trying to read what it says. I can't exactly make out the the uh, make out the words on the bottom. But look, they have <laughs> they have Travis's favorite anime posters all over the place. I haven't really seen a video store that has you know a lot of anime stuff like on the walls. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised that Bishop will just leave his job. At the drop of a hat, just to go get Travis's bike. You wouldn't think that would be... Hey, Bishop, get out of the store for like five seconds, go to my apartment, and grab my sweet-ass uh, future bike. Oh, the grasshopper! Because, I mean, apparently it's more than just Bishop who works there. Like, Diane, who constantly calls about Travis having sex with a pillow. I'm sure she probably gets pissed off at Travis just constantly bombing off of, uh... Oh, what'd we get this time? Yes. <sighs> the shirt's always in shadow. Ah, uh, well. I'm sure we'll see it at old, uh... When we go to Thunder Ryu's. Because after we do this, we're gonna head over to Thunder Ryu's, train up, get stronger. Which I'll, I'll show, uh... I'll, I'll do that off camera. Because it's pretty much the exact same thing that it was uh, last time so I'll do that off camera but first let's go let's go visit a buddy of ours who will who's actually in the No More Heroes comic or manga that came out before No More Heroes 2 but let's go ahead and visit him and see what he has to say huh? what do you want? yeah look man this is no place for a pussy like you <laughs> go home to mommy And bring them to the drunk. Fucking drunk Russian. So, I'll collect all the lobby cob balls off screen. But, basically what this does is, if you bring that guy some 
those red uh, lobby cop balls, whatever the hell that means, you can learn some more techniques. More passive techniques you can... And more in-combat techniques. Stuff that kind of improves Travis as a character. Oh, we got another t-shirt. It's another shirt that we can't see because the entire world is in shadows. Oh, it's another shirt. Another shirt I can't... Ugh, whatever. Anyway. Alright. So I'm going to grind some cash off screen. And then I'm also going to get uh, some training on. Maybe buy some more clothes. But I'll probably save up. Oh, this is the crocodile skin shirt. You can't see it, but... Anyway, I'll do all that off screen. And uh, I'm probably not going to get all the lobby cob balls right away. I'll probably wait a little bit longer. Whenever more stuff has opened up. But after that... but. I'll show you the results of that. So anyway, until next time, thank you for watching.